Welcome everybody to another winter game series with Right Start Math. Today we're going to talk about the short multiplication solitaire game. This is a new game by Dr. Cotter. I'm your host, I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler, and let's look today at our new game. Our objective is to become more familiar with the short multiplication table. Now, some of you are saying, the what table? The short multiplication table. It's our regular multiplication table, but we got rid of all the duplicates. Our cards and our layout, we're gonna use our multiplication cards. And we're only gonna use the 55 cards that are needed for the table. So again, we're getting rid of the duplicates. It's just because it's a solitaire game, it's one player. And our layout with our cards is we're gonna create the left and the bottom borders of the table, so we know where to lay our cards. And then we're gonna lay our remaining 36 cards out in fans of four. Our object of the game is to build the table by playing all the cards that are in my fan. And when we play it, we're gonna choose a top card of a fan so if there's a card underneath, you won't be able to access that until you lift that top card off. And you can only lay it next to a card on the table. So everything's gonna kind of build. So let's go ahead and watch how we play this. Okay, here I've got all my cards laid out. I've got my left border and my bottom border. Now, just because of my area here, I've actually tucked the cards underneath you would actually spread them out so you'd have spaces between like you do here. So you'd have those spaced out. Again, I'm not going to because otherwise you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I've got my cards laid out. I've got four in a fan laid out. I can only pick the top card of each fan. So starting with this, okay, 54. I can put that right here because remember it has to be next to another next to another card. I can't just lay it out in the middle of the table because here I've got nine times six is 54. Okay, here I have 56. That's going to go here, but I have nothing to build it next to. So I can't touch that card. Let's see, 18. That one's not going to be helpful. Oh, yes, I do. I could use 18 right here. I could say nine times two. Put that one. 36. I could say nine times four is 36. And that's touching. 21. This is not going to be helpful because I need it here. I need seven times three. 10, I can use five times two. 12, six times two, because it's touching this way and this way. It's next to this one, next to this one. You know what, let's do 14. Let's keep going with this. 14, eight would be 16. Do I have a 16? Not on the top. So a 16 I can't do. This would be eight and a four, and a, well, one, this one would be down here, be a four. Because remember, your short multiplication chart looks like this. So one is gonna be the top, four, nine, 16. These are all your squares. Okay, let's keep going. So I can't do any of these. Let's maybe see if I can fill this one in here and build up. Because again, I don't have anything here. Let's try this. So this would be 27. I don't see a 27. This would be eight times four, which would be 32. I don't have one visible. How about 45? Oh, 45 right here. I can tuck this guy under here. Next one would be a, because this is the fives. So five times 10, right here, 10 times five, nine times five, eight times five, 
be 40. Yes, we have it right here. There's 40, 35. Here we go. Oh, we're making some progress. This is times seven. So this is in this row. 30. Do I have a 30? I do not. Oh, look what I just found. I found a six. That can go right here. So I could do three, six, nine. That's going to be a square. So now it's going to turn the corner. So 12 is going to come down here. And I have a 12 there, but that's not going to help. Let's see. What else do I have? I have four needs an eight. Still don't have one visible. Five, 10, 15. I don't see a 15. I'm just looking. I can't put the 16 because it's not attached to anything. Let's maybe keep going here. 30, we said we didn't have. Got 10 times 6, 9 times 6, 8 times 6 is going to be 48. There's my 48. So that's not going to be helpful. But I still could put something here. So 7 times 6 is 42, which I have right here. See, and that's next to it, so I can play it. Now I can put my 48 in. There we go. So I've got, again, this is harder because I don't have them spaced properly. So I've got 10 times 6, 9 times 6, 8 times 6, 7 times 6, 6 times 6, 36. I thought I said, there we go, 36. This is a corner. It's a double, so it's going to turn and go this way now. So 36 is going to be 30, which we didn't have before. Oh, 30 is right over here. That's hiding out. So I can lift this 21. So let's keep going here. So 7, so this is 10 times 7. 9 times 7 is 63. Oh, that one's buried. 8 is going to be 72. That one's buried. 81, buried, okay. So I need to build up in here. Let's see here. So two, four, do I have a four? Three, six, nine, 12, ah, 12. And go here. Actually, now I can put this 16 because it's next to. So 12, 15, right here is my 15. So that's not going to work. We're going to put this 21. Seven, oh, seven times three. There we go. Look at this. Maybe some of you saw that already. Okay, 49. This is seven times seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to scoot this fan up here. So here's seven times seven. 30. This can go under here because this is going to be six times five. Here's a 15. What can I use here? I can use this one right here. Three times five. Here, well, actually, it's five times three. Six times three is 18. There we go. 21. Because these are the threes. Because see how this works? I've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 because this is eight. Last one I need is 27, oh, right there, and 30. So I have all the threes done. Okay, let's see if we can come back to the twos. So two, four, let's scoot this up here. My four is still buried. Okay, I've got this 28, seven times four. Oh, I can put this right here. I don't have next twos, but I've got next twos this way. So I've got 28. Eight times four is 32. Here's 25. We can use that right here. So you see how we do this. Let me see if I can finish this off for us. I've got three, six, nine, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, because that's four times five. 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. 
And again, when you do this at home, yours won't look this scattered because you'll, you will have them spaced properly. Let's do this and see. Oh, here's my four. This can go up here. So two, four, six, eight. Still have my eight buried here. 81. He can tuck in right here. 16. Got a 16 there or oh, right here. So two, four, six, missing my eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Eight times two is 16, 18, 20. 63. It's going to go right here. Eight. This was missing this guy. I think I'm going to get this whole thing done. 56 is going to be eight times seven right here. 64, eight times eight. Eight times eight and 72. I did it. I just built the short multiplication chart. And look at how many multiplication facts I did with this. So what do you guys think of that game? I thought that was really cool. And again, that's a new game that Dr. Cotter has created. Enjoy playing. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.